What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm out here on, uh, I guess we'll call this Goose Dock, and I'm with my buddy Justin Floyd over there from Bonafide Kayaks there. <laughs> Look at him doing the, the Texas two-step. But um, what I've got here for you guys today, look at this thing. This is one of the first out of the production mold Bonafide P127. So here it is, and this is in their new camo color. And just a disclaimer for you guys, I have worked with Bonafide in the past, off and on, <laughs> and here I am again, but met up with my buddy Justin here, and he wanted to get his uh, bow-mounted motor guide out today, and I was like, let me get one of the production ones, and what I have here is the, this is 99.9% .9 on what you get when you purchase this boat. This is his marketing sample. So there might be a few tweaks here and there that I show you guys that might change in, in the coming future, but look at this thing. This thing looks amazing. Look at that finish on it. Look at all that. So you're seeing all the parts just like I am. I did paddle one of the early prototype versions of this, but this is the first time I've like really went over the full production version here for you guys so what i'm going to do i'm going to do my normal kind of walk through that i've done on a lot of my videos i'm going to start in the bow and just kind of work my way back to the the stern and i'll go over the features for you guys and kind of show you what you're getting with this boat but yeah all right so there is a little bit of wind blowing out here so if you hear some wind noise I'm sorry, I do have a dead cat on, but you know how these things go. I will try to talk clear enough where you guys can hear it and kind of go over with. And I'll start here with the bow. This is the standard bona fide, you know, this, this open handle carry, just like on the 127. So that's nothing new on that. It's gonna be, but one thing I was told, it will be shipped with this on there. I don't know if that's true. We'll wait and see, but I was told that, you know, no more you guys lining up inserts and trying to um, trying to screw your own handles in. This should be shipped with right the handle. Right now, as you're probably seeing, you're probably, I know what you're thinking, what is that thing? Well, this thing comes with inserts. These are not screwed in. These are actual molded, molded in inserts into the, the, uh, the hull during the roto molding process. And this is a plate up here for any of you guys that want to put a power pole or mount some sort of um, a motor guide or anything in the front right here. You can mount an anchor down from there. So that's something that's new on Bonafide. They've widened this area up to put more of a platform up here. They've listened to you guys. They've listened to what everybody wanted. You started seeing a lot of people do these motor guides, as you can see right over here. You can see how that's mounted. So yeah, having those, those mounting Having that mounting plate up there is a big helpful thing. And you can access to inside here if you need to. So yeah, just right away, that's pretty cool right there. Moving on back, if you notice, these are still the double header hinges that, that's been kind of like bona fides, like standard on the uh, 127 and 107. Or I mean, just the 127, the 107 had something different. But you can see that these hinges are made. We'll go ahead and lift this up lift that up so you guys can see in there you see what you get there this is a thermoform box so they've added a tub that goes down in there so now you guys can put your rod rod storage down inside there large big open tank where you large big open hatch area here but it does have a nice flange for this so you can throw you know if you want to throw whatever down inside there you can and there you go, it's tied off. You have an area back here for your battery, so you can run your battery in here for your transducer. You see this wire, see they've actually thought out running the wire down through this. And right here, see that little scupper? I know you're probably thinking, where does that go? Well, that goes down into the transducer box on the bottom of the hull. I will roll it over here in a minute and let you guys see how that transducer box is. But that's what that does. So you can run your transducer wires. Nice, clean finish. So Bonafide made it where you could really customize your transducer area right here. Really good on that. You can see that's the transducer box. And by the way, this color is Bonafide's camo. Let me go ahead and put that up. 
So this is the new camo color that's coming on the P127. And looky here, so this is another first for Bonafide. This come from Native, and I've always been a fan of these rod protectors for running it down. They really thought this out where you could get this down, and you see how those rod protectors go right there. Those are nice thermoform rod protectors. And look at this. This is my rod I put in here. Look how simple that is. That is a cool little feature there, and I will cover that more when I get back to the seat. But is that not cool how that just lines up in there? How nicely you can just, that's not going anywhere. And, the, and one of the reasons I have in that there is because now with the pedal drive in the middle here, you don't have that open deck right here that you did on the 127. So you needed a place to put your rod. So Bonafide thought this out a little bit more and then put that out there like that. So yeah, I like that feature a lot. That worked extremely well. Moving on back here to the pedal drive, guys. I know you see this drive. This is uh, the Propel drive. This drive has been used before. It is a very nice drive. It's had several like, um, like modifications to it. This is the most current version of this. Uh, this is the 701 drive. The larger pedals here got the prop indexer the weed guard it's a 10 to 1 ratio this drive i've used this drive before awesome this thing really goes really well very smooth good job on on bonafide for using a drive that's solid why try to reinvent a wheel when you already have such a solid product there you'll see this nice little attention to detail i love little attention to detail the bonafide logo on the fittings there. If you want to remove this drive look how simple that is you just pull that right off that thing just pops right off of there. Is that not cool? I like that. So that way you don't have to ship it with your drive or while it's out on your truck or something on your trailer, you can take that and hide that, um, put that in the back of your, your truck and then to put it back on, just snaps right back into place. So yeah, this baby is smooth. I will have an on water here in a minute where I can kind of go around and show you guys how smooth this thing pedals around the lake there. But you watch how that prop index and I can't use it but see how that prop indexer works i can't put it down because i'm not in the water you lift this up like that take that off and this does have a gasket on it and that just drops down in there like that and you put that back on there simple effective works really well you can kind of see you've got scuppers there you know that's the bona fide style scupper i notice those stay the same gear tracks up here yak attack gear tracks for any type of mounting you know you can put rod holders you see what i have over here i love my little yak attack cup it's in the gear track with my Nalgy bottle perfect for that spot right there traction pads installed factory installed so these traction silencing pads will be in the boat when you buy it this like I said everybody this is pretty much 99.9% .9 of what you will get when you purchase one of these boats a lot of good storage up under there once again you notice you don't see the junk drawer anymore so there's no more junk drawer but one thing they did do they made perfect little spots for Plano boxes right here. I have two Plano boxes and my Bass Mafia bag all fit perfectly right up under there. A lot of good storage right up under there for you guys. You can easily customize this and put a wide range of things up under there. Nicely done on that. These gear tracks right here, so you're seeing these gear tracks here. These tracks are for the seat. Let me show you guys how you adjust this seat. Look at the width in this seat. It's a lot wider than like the, the, the SS-127 seat was more narrow in this area. See how it's widened up like that? It's not got so much of an arch because you've got to think you have to, you have to kind of like design a seat around this, this pedal drive. So you can't be way up high. You can, it's lifted up. It's not, it doesn't have an up and down adjustment on it. So it doesn't have high low seating, but it does have you know forward and back and it's got a lot of adjustment that's probably i'm guessing that's like a foot that's probably 12 inches of adjustment forward and back on that it's very simple to adjust on that the bonafide fabric very comfortable seat i've already pe i've already pedaled all the way around and got on this dock so yeah very good looking seat there are some accessories that you can add to this i like an area back here because i can add things back here a lot of people will put seat pads on it you know there's uh i think kayak cushion makes a really good cushion for it and these things right here justin over there is telling me they're calling the quick draw so yeah those are called the quick draw 
rod holders, maybe bud holders. I don't know what they're called, but he's saying they're they're quick draw. But check out how these things work. I think I showed you guys a while ago. But is that not nice? That's that's fast. So while I'm sitting in the boat, I can easily grab those, pull them out, and lock it down really fast. It does have a a paddle park here, side mounted handles with the paddle park. I will come back to the rudder. This is a rudder cleat. I will come back to that once I get to the rudder. Right now I'm just going to go on and cover over the seat and some of the fittings. Molded in rod holders. This is not something that Bonafide has done in the past. These rod holders are not completely vertical. I don't know if you guys can see that in the camera. They're kind of slightly off kilter like down that way. So not 45. Maybe they're about 15 degree rod holders but they're they're tilted slightly that way but they're in a nice position so if you really wanted to like i have rod holders i have rod holders on my black pack and yak attack like the rod holders for the front but if you wanted to if you just grabbed a couple of rods and got out for a day you could easily get a couple of rods throw them in your rod holder personally i like running them here that's i like running them there more more gear tracks in the back right here the good thing about this gear track this is a nice solid gear track it's wide enough for a sidekick so there's an aftermarket cart for this for this kayak called the sidekick that you guys can get me personally i like a suspense cart if you haven't seen my suspense video go over and check that out because the suspense car also works on this if you wanted to do the sidekick this was designed for the sidekick mounting system right here very nice sturdy rails right here they're in like hardcore inserts so they're going to hold all that weight where the older where the ss 127 could not hold that much weight because of the way the tracks they were not designed for that so you had to kind of customize it a little bit more storage back in here i think that would be a little spot for a for another plano box there scupper plugs in the back for drainage look at this so this is my black pack i do i did put my black pack on there but i'm going to show you guys this they actually designed like a spot for the black pack foot to fit down into is that not cool look at that that is like size for a black pack but look at how wide this is this is definitely wider than what the 127 the ss was it's got a wider area because what i found when i had mounted my black pack and i put my rod holders out they would hit on the side so it made me i had to run my black pack that way i couldn't do it that way because the rod holders on the side changed all that around where now now it's got an area where that fits a little better so now you can see how that just clears all that so now and that's why you only see three rod holders because in my 127 i ran it this away but look at how wide open that tank well is very impressive on how much you can put back in that tank well once again the bungee and these are the the omni clips come standard on here and you see how they mount down on the the black pack i'll go ahead and take this black pack out of here for you guys so you can so I can show you how this mounts down on there. Look at the storage area up there now. That's impressive. So you see how wide open that is and see how these just lock into place right there? I like that. Uh, I think those gear tracks are just to add structure back here and so that's not riding directly on the hull. Let me tighten that up. Once again, look how easy that seat is to adjust. Moving on back, I covered the bungee here. Check this out. This is standard. You can see those taco clips are standard. Let me move these. So you see how the paddle, you obviously, even though it is a pedal drive, you should always have a paddle with you just in case. So when you do bring it up or you need to get in that weeded area or lifting it up, it has the taco clips with a mighty mount mounted in there so you can put an additional rod holder or anything that you want to mount back here it's mounted where you can adjust it it's on these slots so you can kind of move it around if you want to put a rod holder that's pretty cool i like that that's innovative right there that looks really good you got a paddle park with a mighty mount installed so you can also put an additional thing back here nice big gear track these are probably the 18 inch gear track 16 or 18 inch gear track plate access plates in here for you guys that want to run wiring if you want to run some sort of um lights this is out of the factory with the access plate in it where you can access back into the plate you don't have to cut it out you can access so if you want to put a power pole if you want to run any wiring or anything from back here you can easily 
take that hatch off and reach up under there and it would help with anything in here too. Just like the SS series, you get the, the four molded in inserts for a power pole, for a uh, motor mount, anything you wanna put back here. If you wanna get a bracket and mount an anchor or anything back here, you can see that's where that goes. Want the mo bona fide handle here. I noticed there's not a bungee on this one. I don't know if that's how it's gonna be. This is one of the, the first production runs, so that might have a bungee in it. I don't know, maybe not. I don't think you really needed that bungee anyway. I think it was a waste. Drain plug, that is drilled and tapped drain plug. Very nice. Rubberized drain plug. I always go on about drain plugs. I love the drain plugs. P, P127, P for power. Uh, you've got the pedal drive. You can paddle this thing however you want to do it. You want to put a motor on it, you can power it. So there you go. Look at this guy over here. He's got his motor. He's got all, he's got all three, pedal, power, and, and paddle. So yeah. Moving on up, there's the gear track again. Notice it's the wide, look at the size of the Bonafide logo now. For you guys, the Bonafide logo was always small. I love a big, huge logo like this. Looks really nice. I like seeing that. The paddle park's only on the right-hand side. There's no paddle park on this side. Onto the rudder. So this is an integrated rudder system. This isn't a, like, so this is what they're calling the spring blade. I think they're calling it the spring blade. I don't know, maybe Justin could help me out with that. What's this rudder called? Spring blade. Spring blade. <laughs> So it's called the spring blade and I'll show you I'll roll it over I'll kind of tilt it over and show you guys what I'm talking about like spring blade This right here is a rudder cleat and it's Got this little T handle on it there where you can kind of like release it. It won't release because we're on the dock here but it it releases from this rudder cleat it's in the up position i'll lower it down and show you guys so this is all factory installed tubing this is installed in the factory and i'll show you on this side the steering mechanism here it's it's a left-handed steering it's lifted up a little bit there nice box right here into molded in inserts yeah moving on back once again another one of these little cleat things a little paddle park holder right there this is their this is the the rudder system designed for the Bonafide. This one, you know, Justin was tinkering around with it, so he messed some of the, the cordage up there. But like I said, this is the marketing sample. It's been taken on and off like 30 times. So guys, ignore that right there because it was unscrewed, screwed back on, unscrewed, screwed back on. But yeah, look at this new system. It's got a texturing like there, and it's got the cord that comes out that runs down through there that wraps around this this system is bomber i really like the way this one felt but yeah that's really nice very well done very well thought out i'm going to go ahead and take my rods off and kind of tilt it up for you guys and let you see kind of the hull i'm not going to roll it completely over because i'd have to remove the seat and everything but i will take that rod off all right i took all my crap off of there let's put this down well actually we can just take this off too I took all my stuff off, so I'm going to go ahead and roll this over, and hopefully I don't throw it into the lake. You can see this thing has the bona fide style, catamaran style hull, but it is a little different as you're looking. You see it's like narrow, and then it gets extremely wide here in the center. The keel is not as pronounced as in the SS. Scuppers are slightly different than what I've seen on the SS. There's the scupper for the transducer. By the way, this is your transducer mount. Bonafide made it where you can mount any type of transducer. It's up out of the way. Maybe you might want to be a little lower. If you had a side scan, you might want to come down a little bit because of the area of this and this. But they have that plate where you would mount to the the transducer mount would go there. You run your wires up and it's very simple. Just a little scupper plug right there. Put your battery in the hatch and run your wires. This area is definitely wider. A lot of texturing up here too. All of this is textured, nice texture. That feels like that sandblasted type texture. Keel line running there, runs down. It's flat, but it's got an edge right here that runs all the way down right there. Skid plates on the bottom. And check this out. The the rudder is protected by the way the design of the the this this hull. The way these two pontoons come out, it helps protect the rudder. And I'm gonna drop the rudder down and show you guys how this rudder works. You can kind of see it there. 
it won't come down because I've got it locked, the cleat's locked. But yeah, let's drop that down now. The cleat, I do have it in the up position so it's not gonna fall down completely. You steer it with the handle over there. And the cool thing about this rudder, the reason they call it the spring blade, if you're going down and you run up on a log or something underwater, that thing springs right back. Is that not a cool system right there? specter wire down in there so all this can be re repaired replaced if needed they very nice and look how deep that rudder is in the water I can't turn it because it's on the dock so yeah there's your spring blade guys you guys leave in the comments what you think of the spring blade rudder there um, I'm interested in what you have to say about that but yeah there it is once again it's the bona fide um, hybrid catamaran style hull so super stable uh, it's proven technology very good on bona fide to stick with their hull you can kind of see that and the keel line goes back here and gets wider and wider and then drops off and that's where your rudder kicks in so yeah let you guys look at it real quick down that way and you see right here locks right back into place all right, everybody, that's pretty much all I got on the Bonafide P127 walkthrough. I try to be as detailed as possible for you guys. Leave any questions down below. If you have any questions on maybe I missed something that you have, I can try my best to answer the questions for you guys. They should start dropping in stores very soon. It's going to retail, I'm thinking, around about $29.99. I don't know. I'll leave the specs and everything up on the screen of what the Bonafide has on it. So try to help you guys out on making a decision on this. It's going to come in three colors it's coming in this one is the camo version then it's going to be a venom version and it's going to be a gray i don't know if they're calling it top gun gray but who knows so yeah that's all i got everybody thanks for watching and i will have an on water review coming i'm going to do like a quick we're out here on a, a local little lake area that's not far from my house here so we're just going to do like a pedal around he's going to motor around and we're going to like i'll do kind of like a walk through on what i think of the boat while i'm pedaling it and paddling it so yeah you guys go over and check that out i should have that up soon i'll leave it and of course remy always has to be in the the pictures hey but um, yeah, that's all I got, everybody. Thanks for watching, and I will uh, catch you guys next time. Made in the USA, baby. There you go. Remy, jump in the water again. She just jumped in the water a while ago.